Let's take a look at mixed equations with decimals. They ask me to subtract 43.9 minus 42.7. Okay, when I'm subtracting or adding with decimals, I like to line them up so I can make sure I'm putting the decimal point in the right place. So 43.9 minus 42.7. So notice I'm lining up the decimal point in those two numbers and I'm also gonna line up the decimal point in my answer. And now I can subtract. Nine minus seven is two in the tenths place. In the ones place, three minus two is one. And in the tenths place, four minus four is zero. So it's a difference of 1.2. Divide, give the exact answer written as a decimal. Okay, so they want the exact answer, not a rounded off number. So I'm going to write it this way, 46.2 divided by 2. And I'm going to think of this as a long division problem. Okay, so when you have a decimal here, notice there's no decimal on the 2, just on the 46.2. So I'm gonna just line up that decimal right above it, and then I don't have to think about it. I'm gonna work out my problem, like 462 divided by two, and then that decimal point is gonna be there to make sure that my answer is adjusted appropriately. Okay, well two goes into four two times, right? Two times two is four, so that gives me zero remainder. Next, I would bring down my six. Two goes into six, three times, three times two is six. So again, that would give me zero remainder. And then finally, I would have to bring down that two and two goes into two one time. Now notice, since we put the decimal point there already, we know that it's gonna be 23.1. And of course you could subtract the two to show that you have zero remainder here. Okay, so 23.1. forty six point eight divided by two okay well just like I did in the last problem I'm gonna rewrite this so it looks like a long division problem forty six point eight divided by two and then I'm gonna line up my decimal right above where the decimal is here okay two goes into four two times two times two gives me four so that's zero left over Next, I have to bring down the six. Two goes into six three times. Two times three gives me six. That's zero left over. And then I have to bring down the eight. And two goes into eight four times. Four times two gives me eight. So that's zero left over. So 46.8 divided by two gives me 23.4. Okay, we want to add 40.8 plus 37.2. Okay, so when we're adding, we like to line them up. So we're going to say 40.8 plus 37.2. Okay, and then I'm also going to line up the decimal point in my answer. Okay, 8 plus 2 gives me 10. So I'm going to write my 0, carry the 1. 7 and 1 gives me 8, and 4 plus 3 gives me 7. So I wind up with 78.0, which is the exact same thing as just 78. Okay, let's line up our numbers here. I have 10.1. Plus, now 45, I can make that a decimal by making it 45.0. And now it's a little easier to see where everything is lined up. Right, put your decimal right here in the answer. 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 5 is 5, and 1 plus 4 is 5. So that's going to give me 55.1. Three point six divided by 4. 
Okay, so I'm going to write it like this, 3.6 divided by 4, and I'm going to line up the decimal right above where it is here. Okay, 4 does not go into 3, so I'm going to put a 0 there. 4 does go into 36. 4 goes into 36 9 times, right? 9 times 4 is exactly 36, so that leaves me with 0 remainder. So the answer here would be 0 0.9. All right, so we want to multiply 2.8 times 33.3. Okay, and I like to write the one with more digits on the top. Remember, when you're multiplying, the order doesn't matter. So you could write this either way, 33.3 times 2.8 or 2.8 times 33.3. Okay, now when you're multiplying, what you can do is ignore the decimals at first. Think of it as 333 times 28. And then at the end, we're going to go back and put those decimals in the right spot in our answer. Okay, so first I'm going to multiply 8 by all these 3s. Okay, well, 8 times 3 is 24, so 4, carry the 2. 8 times 3 is 24 again, plus the 2 makes it 26, so 6, carry the 2. And 8 times 3 is 24, plus the 2 makes it 26. Okay, I'm going to cross these out so I don't accidentally use them on the next part. So now I'm really thinking of this as a 20, so I have to put the zero here, and then I can just multiply by two. Well, two times three is six. Two times this three gives me six, and two times three gives me another six. Okay, and then remember, when you have those two columns, I gotta add them together. So four plus zero is four, six plus six is 12, so 2 carry the 1. 6 and 6 is 12, plus the 1 is 13, so 3 carry the 1. And 2 and 6 is 8, plus that extra 1 is 9. Okay, now this is not my answer. Remember we said we had to go back and handle those decimals at the end. So there was one decimal place after the decimal here, and one place after the decimal here. So that's a total of two places after the decimal. So I need to make sure to include two places after the decimal, so move my decimal point right there. So this is going to give me 93.24.